this organization was established in 1999 and right now we have like more than 200 companies with us all pan india we have pan india present who are state chapters so our organization takes up the issues of the industry with the government and also we work closely with the farmers because at the end of the day the irrigation equipment which we are supplying it goes to the farmers and it helps them uh, make their living while there are many benefits of this technology but uh, uh, to some extent this has not been able to go to every farmer in the country so this is where I feel that the media has a very important uh, role to play and for that I would look the, uh, for the active support of PC Javis and the entire team to take this message to the farmers that uh, yes, they need to use this technology because in this age of technology, if they don't use that, they will be left behind. Uh, these technologies help them to increase their productivity, uh, it helps to reduce the water consumption, it helps uh, uh, reduce the labor cost, then there's savings in fertilizer. So there's a lot of win-win situation and uh, uh, crops such as uh, common grenade, sugar cane, they are like we have cases where producti uh, productivity has increased manifoldly. There are various challenges in the implementation of the scheme. Since I consider the state subject and you know, well, you know in that there are various challenges at the state level, but those have to be addressed and our team is working for that. Agriculture and farmers welfare, and they are very supportive of the scheme. And we definitely feel that uh, uh, the sector and, and uh, micro irrigation has a very important role to play. And in the days to come, uh, it will uh, definitely reach more and more farmers, and more and more people will become aware of the technology. And, and I just add that <laughs> so, for that, I need the help of Pritchi Jagan. Take it out. So, if anyone has any questions or queries, just feel free to ask. We'd love to have a presentation. We'll employ some fishy other. What exactly is education education of India is presently doing right now? What projects are you working on right now? Any bigger projects you're working on? Yeah, we have actually what I would like to add. It's is a government of India scheme of uh, Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sichai Yojana. Okay. So under the act there is a exclusive scheme for the micro irrigation, which is per drop more crop. So per drop more crop? Uh, yeah, per drop more crop. Okay. So in that scheme, the objective of the scheme is to like use from the same quantity of water reserve which we are having. Uh, there is a need to increase the agriculture output from that. So. So that scheme is like uh, partly funded by center and remaining by the state. A very small amount the farmers have to pay. So um, basically, but the implementation of the scheme, there are various challenges in that. Like uh, there is no timely release of subsidies to the like uh, manufacturers. They don't get their payments on time, and the companies are on the brink of like they'll have to shut their business because. They, are, they uh, keep on supplying to the farmers, but they are not getting the money in time. There are challenges and there are various stringent norms in the scheme that once uh, like uh, equipment is procured, it has to be like installed and inspection has to be done. So once that process is completed, uh, then only uh, uh, the payments can be released. So there are various uh, like issues at the state level going on. So basically our like entire like uh, focus is on getting that scheme implemented properly. There was a huge budget outlay every year, but you will be surprised to know that uh, out of the huge budget outlay, uh, hardly the states they don't even raise demand uh, less than 50 percent. Like this money lying, the states only have to raise the demand that I will install these maybe uh, irrigation equipment this year, and money will also come, but they are not able to do that and the money has to is being returned every year back to the center. So the uh, so so we are having scheme, we are having money, but that is not going to, to the uh, result uh, destination. So basically our like, entire focus is on that area. And also 
while uh, it's not just for the uh, industry, like it's also beneficial for the farmers and the society because agriculture is like in India, the 70 percent like water consumption is done by the agriculture sector. So if there is a like, saving in that segment, then uh, it's important because uh, there are reports that state in India by 2030 we are going to be water stretched. So we will no longer be in the comfort zone of having water to use and to be stream. So there is a lot of focus is required and seriousness is required at a state level. And for this we like uh, regularly we keep having like meetings uh, at the center and state level. We keep writing letters in this regard with the government, keep uh, also keep having some round tables with the government and also we are planning to even to work, getting work from the government only there is through outreach and meetings. So our main work is the area of policy advocacy. And for that also we keep coming up with like, reports and other studies to help uh, bring more awareness among the government and the farmers. But ultimately the scenario that for uh, any success to happen is the farmers will have to realize that uh, they have to go on and demand from the state that they can do something. That's only the state will be done for them. So that method of education has to be done. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks so much.